I'm going to show you some of the best bow builds to progress through high rank, and we're going to start right now. If this is your first time here and you want to know more about Monster Hunter Rise and other games, Talisman Farm that like and subscribe button. Pro tip, I hear it negates the effect of the desire sensor. Let's get into it. Congratulations on high rank bow user, your gear probably looks like this right now. And if you still need help getting gear like this for low rank, I have a link to a video in the description. So the bow build that we graduated low rank with is this. We have a Xenogre helmet with latent power and critical eye, Rothos mail with part breaker and windproof, Berioth band braces for critical eye, Berioth coil for critical eye 2, Alicanth Krua for critical eye 2, and then the game gives you a novice talisman with critical level one so these are our abilities pretty crit heavy what we want to do now is upgrade the pieces that we need because remember these equipment skills augment your playstyle. so these abilities will help you to hunt harder better and faster from the start of high rank you can get the kamur gear so from the start of high rank you can already get kamur braces because they come with critical eye level two and they have a level two slot but boogie boogie what are these slots you're talking about don't worry i got you covered if you stick around to the end of the video you'll find out but these are really good gloves that you can start out with the next piece of armor that you can upgrade is the izuchi coil it comes with level two critical eye and two level one slots but there is another piece of armor that you can replace this with. It comes with a new ability that you probably haven't heard of yet. And that piece of armor is the Scalda Elytra S. It comes with the ability of Weakness Exploit Level 2. What is Weakness Exploit, I hear you ask? Weakness Exploit increases the affinity of attacks that exploit the monster's weak spot. So when you attack a monster's weak spot, say the head of Izuchi or the tail tip of Izuchi, as you can see, the damage numbers are higher for the head and the tail tip. But every monster has their own weak spots. So check out this menu to learn more about the monsters you're hunting. But I'd advise going after weakness exploit because it increases your affinity to those shots by up to 30 percent this critical eye level 2 is primarily going to raise it up 10 percent that's 10 percent versus 30 percent so if you attack the weak spots of the monster weakness exploit is really going to cut down on your hunt times to get the skull of elytra you need a Toxicomori, which you can get from the Argosy. Just make sure your buddies are going after fish or plants, and then it'll show up in your bounty at some point. You get quality stomachs from the ant-like Alteroths, and the Almadron plate you get from hunting high and low rank Almadron. The next piece of armor to get are the Kulu Yaku Greaves. It comes with critical eye level two. So, so far we have the pants, the belt, and the gloves upgraded, but the chest and helmet still have really good skill abilities, so we're still gonna use those. The next piece of armor we're gonna upgrade are the Lagambi Band Braces. I'm well into the late game and I'm still using these things it comes with critical eye level two and has two slots one level two and one level one the next piece of armor to upgrade are the ingot greaves not only do they come with critical eye level two they also come with attack boost level two that's plus six to your attack bonus the next piece of armor you want to upgrade is the Berioth coil comes with level two critical eye and has more defense because of the high rank version the next upgradable piece are the kadachi greaves comes with constitution and critical eye level two at this point you want to judge whether you want higher defense with constitution that reduces fixed stamina depletion by 10 percent or lower defense with attack plus six. That's your choice. The next piece of armor you can upgrade is the Nargakuga coil. So it comes with critical eye level one, which is one less than the Berioth coil, but it replaces critical draw level one with evade extender level two. Evade extender increases evade distance. It extends the distance of your dodges, so you're less likely to get hit. The next piece of armor to upgrade is the Rothlos mail. It comes with attack boost one, part breaker one, and windproof. So it's a mild upgrade from the low rank, but you still keep your abilities, plus you get attack boost one and higher defense. The next piece of armor to upgrade is the Zen Ogre helmet. It's slightly different because it still comes with latent power level one, but also comes with weakness exploit level one as opposed to critical eye. And again, weakness exploit increases the affinity of attacks that exploit the monster's weak spot. And if you mix this weakness exploit level one with Scalda Elytra, you then have weakness exploit level three, which increases your affinity of 50% on weak points. 50%? That's half crits. You could go one further and get an entire set to help you fight the last boss. And that set is the Alucanth F set. It comes with critical element level three, which increases elemental damage when landing critical hits. So that's 15% additional damage on critical hits. It comes with critical eye level four, but you can replace the Brachia with the Lagombi Van Braces so you get more critical eye. So at that point, it's critical eye level six. It comes with dragon attack level five. That's full dragon attack, which increases your dragon attack 20% plus an extra four. But if you want to keep the gloves, you get Evade Window, which slightly extends the amount of invincibility frames you get while dodge rolling. You're probably wondering, hey Poogie Boogie, you said you were going to mention something about slots and stuff. You're absolutely right and I'm getting right to it. If you look above me, right between defense and fire resistance, you see the amount of slots we have. There are two slots available for this piece of armor. And because there is one node in each of those slots, that's a level one slot. So there are two level one slots for this piece of armor. 
The coil of the armor also has two slots. One, which we learned, has a level one slot. The other has two nodes on the bottom of the icon, so that's a level two slot. So this has two slots, a level two and a level one. The Greaves also has two slots, has one level one, and then has a level three. If you notice, on that icon has three nodes on the bottom of the icon, indicating that's level three slot. Why does that matter, you ask? If you go to decorations and create decorations, you're offered pages and pages of decorations that you can fill those slots with. These decorations provide you with skills. For example, let's say I wanted to use more evade extender. This jumping jewel has evade extender. Pro tip, if you will press the X button, it changes all these names to their skill abilities. So jumping jewel provides evade extender. I just like using this instead. It's a lot more simple. So this evade extender jewel has a level two slot, meaning if you want to augment the amount of evade extender you have, or just have it in general, you just have to make sure you have a level two slot or more to implement this skill. In regards to the slot level, as you can see the amount of nodes in the bottom of the icon, there was one. So this is a level one decoration. Level one decorations can be placed in any slot. So level one decorations are really versatile, but they usually come with skills that are kind of mild. A level two decoration like fortify can go into a level two slot and a level three slot, but but not a level one slot. Just imagine if the decoration is too big to fit in the level one slot. And a level three decoration like critical draw can only fit in a level three slot. So imagine the decoration being too big for both a level two and a level one slot. And because a level three slot is so rare, the level three decorations usually have sought after abilities. To make these decorations, they show you foraging materials. Once you make them, you can back out of the menu and go to set decorations. Then you can highlight any bit of weapons or armor that has decorations on them and just fill the slot like this. And if you're wondering what armor I'm using, using the Zinogre Helm S, Zinogre Mail S, Lagombi Van Braces, as I told you before, Golden Obi, and Golden Akana, which can be found by unlocking level 7 quests and hunting a Rajong in this quest. And I was able to get a Talisman with a level 2 slot with a level 2 Critical Eye. This gives me the ability to fill that slot with another Critical Eye, giving me a Critical Eye level 3 Talisman. And here are the abilities. What gear are you rocking? Put it in the comments below. And if you want to get the most out of your hunts by getting the most materials, I got a video for you right here. Thank you for watching another Pokey Boogie video. Stay healthy, stay strong. Catch you next time.